Well, I finished my three little cards, and they turned out really adorable. Here's one of them. And um, I just wanted to make some little envelopes for them. So I found a little video on YouTube to show me how to make this little envelope, and I just wanted to do them in white. And I put a little bit of the printed paper inside. I thought that was pretty cute. And um, they fit really, really well right inside there. And I thought I would show you how I did it um, and making one of the other ones. So first of all, I have a regular piece of, um, this is Gina K white luxury cardstock, and it is seven inches by four and a quarter inches. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my score buddy here, and I'm going to score it at one inch. And this paper is really thick, so I like to give it a good two or three go-throughs. One inch, and then also at four and a quarter, and on my, my awesome score buddy, it's right where that little star is. So, there you go. And that is the horizontal way. And then for vertically, it doesn't matter which side you start on first, you're going to score it at half an inch from the top to the bottom, all the way. Okay, and then I just turn it around and do the same thing on the other side. So at a half an inch from the top all the way down to the bottom. There we go. And that is your scoring. Done with that. Okay, so um, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold on all these lines and press them down really good. And I'm just using my uh, Martha Stewart bone folder because it's got a little bit more area for me to hold on to instead of the one that comes with the score buddy because it's kind of little. So there we go. We've got all of these lines folded really well. Um, now what you're going to do is you have, here's the bottom of the envelope and the flap and then those are the parts that are folded in. So what we're going to do now is we're going to trim off this tri or this rectangle here and this rectangle here. And I like to go right inside the score line because this paper is really thick. It's 120 weight. So um, just so I don't have a, too much bulk on my envelope, I'm going to go right on the inside of all of these score marks. Same thing on the other side. And if you fold it up and you find that you need to trim a little bit more, then you can do that. Okay. And then you're going to do just trim that. You're going to do the same thing on the flap, the two little rectangles that are on the top of the flap. You're going to trim those off as well, and I do the same thing. Just go to the inside. Like that. To give it a little extra room. And same thing on this side. I really hope I'm in the camera, guys. I'm having to use um, just my digital camera, not my camcorder, because my battery's dead on my camcorder. So, we're just, and this is just a quick video. So, now what you're going to do, now you have your basic envelope. Um, and what you're going to do now is you're going to round the corners. I like to kind of dry test it and make sure actually it goes like this dry test it and make sure which you, I guess you could do it this way if you really wanted to it doesn't matter um, I'm going to just dry fit it and make sure there's no areas in the trim nope and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my We Are Memory Keepers corner chomper and I'm going to use the quarter inch side and I'm just going to round all of the corners So now I pretty much have my envelope, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little insert inside. And I um, had these little papers cut already, and they're three by three, because um, that was what I was, or no, they're um, two and three quarters by two and three quarters, because I was using them as a mat on the little three by three cards, and I decided I wanted to round the corner, so I made others. 
Um, so I'm going to use this in the inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my AGT gun and um, I'm going to put this inside just to give it a little um, inside masking. And I'm just going to line it up on the top how I think it looks best. So like right about there. And then um, I'm going to put some adhesive on this section so when I fold it up, it doesn't get adhesive up here. So I'm just going to um, put my AGT right there along the edge. And same thing on the other side. And then I'm going to fold those up. And then for the front, um, this I use the blue, and so the blue card is for my little friend Danielle. Where is my pen? There it is. So I would of course I'm gonna of course write her name on here. And I wish I had prettier um, handwriting, but I don't. I just want to make sure I spell her name right. Danielle. And then I made some little heart. I just punched out a little heart. And I'm going to put some of this Zig two-way glue on the back of it. And then, oops, just stick that right next to her name. Just for an extra little cuteness. Just like that. And then here is her little cherry card that goes in there. Oops. Glue didn't stick. Hold it for just a second. And um, there's her little card. I thought that was pretty cute. And then for the adhesive, instead, I don't have any of that gum adhesive to, that you would lick. So um, the good thing about the two-way glue is if you put it down, and if I were to stick it right away, it would be um, permanent. But I just like do two lines of it and let it dry on its own. Kind of winged it a little bit. Let it dry. Um, it will glue, it will dry kind of like a removable adhesive. So kind of like a post-it note or um, any other removable adhesive you would buy. And so there is my second little card. And I have one more to make and I'll show you them all three when I'm all done. And here is the third one for my little friend Peyton, and she gets the little peach. Um, and finished her little card out. And then this way. And then I'm gonna put the zig glue. And I have, I really think these turned out very cute. Um, next time I might use a colored cardstock instead of white, just, just because. And you can always get fancy and put some kind of um, design on there or something here. Um, but, and there we have it. There's all three of them together for Danielle, Peyton, and Madison. So, hope you liked that little tutorial. Thanks a lot.